Hi guys, good morning. I'm making this video for one of my viewers, Sinso. Hi Sinso, I don't know what's your name. Is that your real name? And yes, uh, his comment, I will put it over here. It says, could you maybe make a video on the visa process and some of its details, please? I plan to have my girlfriend here by next December and we just want to know what to expect exactly so here uh, first off it's been a long time that it's been like uh, I came here eight years ago plus the processing it totals you know from start from the beginning when I process my visa it may be like 10 years ago because it's two years process the whole thing and everything passport visa and everything so it been like 10 years and yeah so I don't remember everything well apologize now that I can't really give you the whole details or process these papers we decided to hire a consultant is that a consultant or uh, I will put the name here guys if I remember I did we we hire people to do that we pay like 75,000 uh, that was long that was 10 years ago so yeah 75,000 and first the papers they're asking me the are uh, the consultant that 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 you know the consultant is that consultant or whatever is that uh, that group uh, first they're asking me the requirements uh, requirements from processing the passport because they process my passport and then when we get my passport then the visa okay I have the passport ready I have everything IDs like the IDs that I use they're asking me IDs I think they ask me two IDs but I have only one so I have to provide different kind of stuff like it's me that it's real me i have only one pass uh, id it's with a postal id i don't have a social security at that time and and yeah so i don't have that so what i remember from the beginning they're asking me different kind of stuff to prove that we are really in a relationship it's not just like coming here and just do like that and that was a real uh relationship is not just like you know to plan to come here and do stuff so it's real so you have to prove that to embassy that you have that real relationship so the first of they're asking me is the picture the requirements they give me the list and then we provide them the whole thing okay um pictures to prove um that you really seen each other twice like i don't know if if it if it's okay if it's just one time you seen each other but my situation is twice so the passport printed his passport and of course my passport also as well and what else i really did forget what else what else what else passport phone calls to prove that you have a you've been talking the whole time phone calls like a phone calls the foreigner the guy who live here in the u.s different country you have to provide a list of the phone calls you did uh we we, we did the whole thing like since the two years we known each other it is a two years of papers like a pile of papers for like a calls to the philippines to me the picture if they were asking you the pictures the pictures need to be just simple you know whatever you do just don't take picture because just because because it's just like you have to be like with your family you're having fun with your family you're having fun with the picture okay, let me write it down here that i won't just keep seeing it over and over and over again okay picture uh take it tickets uh tickets from the guy who came who come visit you know to the philippines that to prove that you go visit um phone calls phone calls in uh passport 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 printed okay printed printed and also also emails guys emails um like this 
this is not the embassy tells you this is what you need like that this is the people who process our papers to tell, tell us to do this okay emails emails and also the the ask me the ask us to provide them a letter like a handwriting letter mails you know mails a handwriting like a love letter not sorry guys this dog is just like piss he's going to eat my pandesal pot get down he's going to eat my pandesal the bread that my husband got me last night don't eat my bread and mails yeah the mails what you know you just like being honest like you know i love you like how are you doing just like a normal meal you know your handwriting over there and you pass it back and forth like you know back and forth like even just like three times and that's good enough already three times is good and also and also mails and then if ever you know in my case because my fiance keeps sending me money to process to run over this run over that uh i don't he sent me money not for my like you know for my monthly thing it's not like that he sent me money for to process the papers to run my 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 birth certificate yeah my your birth certificate birth certificate both of you both birth cert okay both of you uh you need a birth certificate so my fiance keeps sending me money little two thousand a month one thousand sometimes it's eight hundred you know it doesn't come up high uh doesn't really come up high it's just like very few you know very little amount of money just because i'm running around to process my uh to process my birth certificate i will tell you the end about my birth certificate yeah my birth certificate is need to be processed again and i will tell you that in the after this yeah the the western union whatever the money cinder money cinder you you do uh uh western union also the guy had to prove the bank the bank the the foreigner the guy who, what do you call that your bank statement yeah they prove you have to provide that that is bank statement and what else there's a lot more uh bank statement uh, woo -woo -woo -woo. i forgot it's been a long time it's been a long time i have to remember this has been a long time uh bank statement they asked me also for my baptismal baptismal uh when everything is that all done you put it all together you give it to your you can process it you can do it yourself if you have you know you can do it yourself it's really expensive to hire somebody to do it for you but that time i i was busy working okay i was busy working and he is busy he was busy also working here in the u.s so we hire people to to do our papers to make it everything neat and clean and nothing really like you know we have to keep repeating it over and over so we did that so but you can do it yourself here in the u.s you can process it you can process it yourself oh fbi fbi in bi fbi in bi right in bi i don't know in bi a uh, company know that you will uh they will schedule your interview like the interview the medicals and everything they will scale schedule it and then all you have to do is bring all the documents that you filed you know hold the whole documents the 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 one the one that you give to the company that you're hiring they will give it back to you with a with a with a paper with a uh with the appointment so you have that appointment thing with you with the papers and i forgot if there is a fee of the interview i really don't remember if the interview have a fees or something i think there is i don't know i can't remember but you will know when you get there to make it shorter to make this story short you have to go to the interview you have to wear anything like a collar thing like a with a collar it's a decent thing it's like an office work i use i do that because they told me to wear that thing like it's like a decent decent clothes you know decent clothes i wear slacks both slacks just for that and i both also touch with a collar and 
you know button button here and also what else you have to have your ring oh the engagement picture also you have to have that also and you have to wear your ring and no it's you know just like but you have to prove that you have the ring the engagement that you come in for fiance visa and what else so when i get there the interview guys is not really hard it doesn't doesn't hard but you have to be yourself you have to be honest you have to be confident that you're in a real relationship first before you go to the interview what i remember now the the company that we hired he, they said you have to think you have to have you have to know your fiance your partner you have to know your partner because sometimes they will ask you like where where does your partner you know where does your fiance live you know the address the complete address you have to memorize it you have to know that so i memorized that too and i told him the address and i told him i told them that he has two kids la 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 la, la. so you know he has two kids and you have to say the name sometimes you have to be you know you have to you have to memorize the family the pair the mother the kids the sister sometimes because you have to do that because sometimes the the the, the company i will put the name down here if i remember i just keep saying i just named that company okay the company said that sometimes the interviewer they'll ask you if you know how many sisters what's the name of the sisters how many who is the parents what's the name of the parents like that so yeah so you have to be ready for that because they will surprise you with questions about if you know the family of this guy if you really know that you know you know where you're going are you going to be safe like that so so i did that and good thing the interview who interviewed me he was very nice enough i show him he looked at the papers i said i sat down it's a window and then there's a like a round thing that you can hear the voice so i sat down over there just like relax just like be myself and then hi you know i think morning i think that's very early uh eight o'clock in the morning and yeah because you have time and then you have to be there very early and and so i said good morning and he said good morning like he doesn't even he look at you and then good morning and then look at the papers your paper and then you know he looks at your papers and then he, he asks you a question by looking at the papers he keeps asking a question but the question is very like you know this is the question that i've got what i remember he said oh this is you like that because i have a picture the one that i showed you the picture that i was lying down in bed in my apartment in my boarding house and he's trying to spank my you know he's like to spank if you see that one it's in my video it's in my previous video uh in the one that i found my ex picture it's right there and he keep laughing he's cracking laughing because he, he thinks it's just like you know it's a simple picture it's not like a selfie selfie no it's not like that roxy so yeah so he been he, he, he smiled he's laughing about it and he said oh my god this is a cute picture of you guys and then like that how many times how many times he been here he look at the papers of course you know but he'll ask you anyway and how many times he been visited you and uh, what is this is this your are you guys staying in the hotel i said yes we did stay in the hotel but every day we go back to my uh, uh boarding house because my boarding house I, we can't stay in my boarding house because it's too small and there's no air conditioning and he doesn't like hot and it's very hot in my in my boarding house that's what i said and i said oh i said he he, he has a picture i showed him the picture of him as a guitar man because he's in the band and he's in the band and so he see that one i said oh so your fiance know how to how to do a guitar you know like to play guitar i said yes he, he, he's in the band and yeah so did he sound for you i said yes he did sound for me i said what did he sound for you i said i really did forget what did he sound for me but he, he sang a song for me you know and then yeah and that's it it's just like and then he kept laughing oh that's cute like that that's cute and that's it guys and then you know like you keep looking at the picture and and after that it's just you know like that's it it's just very simple question like like of course he ask you about the personal thing that address the kids like that like that so yeah so it, it's just very simple simple question but, but it's not everybody is so nice to you in the embassy i heard a lot of stories that they are very like it's not mean they don't hurt you but they're just like very like okay tell me your name. okay how do you know this guy where did you meet this guy okay they asked me also where did i meet him so i told him this side like that so that's it and you know some some people in the u.s embassy they will interview you really harsh like very like boo they, to make you nervous you know to make you if you can really answer who really are these people the person you're going with it's like you know it's not easy so they have to test you or something so test test your test but they have to test you or something if you really know this guy even if you're nervous so so anyway that's really it guys you know i can make this video short but oh my god it's long already i just don't want this long because i will edit this i will do this upload now before i go to my other house because i have to do this i don't have any internet whatsoever in my house so i have to do it here before i go because you know and anyway guys and after that guys uh yeah so after the interview he'll give you the papers he'll give you the papers i think he'll give you the papers whatever you tell me guys if you have you have that experience i don't remember but what he said you go to the other window and pay this over in the yeah i think i have to pay yeah you have to go to the other window and pay something or do something over there but if you you will know your you, you prove your you know you will know if you are uh uh, you know you pass with your interview like when you pass like you can do you have your visa like you um, improve approve uh, approve uh, you will know if you are approved because he will tell you to go to the other to the other window do something over there and wait and yeah pay something i think that's what i remember i think that's an i don't, I don't remember but if you don't pass in the interview they will tell you uh something they won't tell you to go to that window they won't tell you just like you go and then they will send you something that is not approved so yeah that's what i remember and also guys this is also i meet somebody in my interview this woman you know the same age as me you know like that and He's fine. She, she is fine. She doesn't. Uh, she she doesn't even. Oh, she went to the interview, but first she went to medical. The medical they will ask you different kinds of question also, like you know, like uh, have you take? Are you, is your family have a TB? Uh, da, 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 da. How's your family thing? Like you know, the health, you know, thing of your family and things like that. And then tricky, they will ask you, have you taken drugs before? Like that, like you know, it's like have you taken drugs before? So stupid of her. She said that that was I take drugs before, but not. It's been a long time that I haven't taken any drugs anymore. So she did. She admit that she did take drugs before. So so there was. They, they don't say anything but they get the thing when you have the interview they give you the paper the list the history of your health and then whatever the interview happening in medical of course you have the paper they pass it to embassy when they pass it to embassy you know of course you know that you said you, you've been taking drugs you know it's been even though it's like how many years that you did take drugs so it's ridiculous also that way because you know it's been a long time that she said she doesn't take drugs so she went to the interview with us the same time with us and then and then she got an interview and then of course the interviewer read the medical that she said she took some drugs long time ago and then she's she's, she's not 
taken anymore. So that's she failed. She she disapproved. She can't have a visa. And they tell her you can't have any visa. You are disapproved and you can't go to the US with your fiance. The sad thing about it, his fiance is already okay. This is not my story, but I'm telling you because we become friends at that time and I don't have any contact with her anymore. So yeah, the thing about her fiance is he started planning the weddings already because they have the ticket that like that and they planned the wedding so it's really sad because you know it's like they've been on the phone forever and i've been hearing them crying together what they're gonna do next i don't know what's the next plan with them and that after that i never heard from her anymore and yeah so best wishes for her good luck for her i don't know where she is right now but we called her banks i don't know if she, hopefully i hope she can she can find me here but if you if you know if you know somebody we call her banks we, i really forget her name but i don't want to tell her banks because she have these banks that it's her it's not even here this is not a regular banks it's the banks that it's go to your forehead above your forehead like small banks like that so we become close in the hotel because we have a lot of friends that go to interview in that small hotel and we all meet in there we all know each other in there we're like oh you've been to interview also la, 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 la. you just have to make friends that you have company with you if you're going to interview you have to tell your fiance you know there's a lot of people who interview too so so i called her banks so hopefully if you are banks in the interview you felt in your interview it's me marianne hopefully i'll see you again hopefully i can see that woman again i'm just curious i i'm just like curious where she is right now and hopefully she is doing fine hopefully and hopefully the, the guy decide to bring decide hopefully the guy decide to stay in the philippines and be there if it's really love you know if you really love each other you should just you know wherever if your fian if your filipina girlfriend or fiance can't come to the u.s you should you know sacrifice go to that i know it's not easy because if you have a job over here that's not easy because it's hard to find compare comparison job here and there. anyway forget about that but that's really it guys i remember that's what i remember guys and yeah i will every time if you comment guys if i remember something i will put down the link i will put the comment down below if i remember something but that's what i remember only so yeah guys thank you guys so much so much for watching and thank you Enzo, for your comments and i think you're the one who, comment, who commented also before about this but i can't really give you details the whole thing because I can only tell you what I remember now from 10 years ago. So yeah, so that's what I remember. And you just have to be prepared and be real, be honest, the real relationship. You really propose to your partner that you guys are fiancé and throw loves. And then, you know, my past is my past. And there is some, you know, happens that I don't like that it happened. But I'm really thankful right now that I found my husband, my, the guy that, you know, adopted me here. And he is so nice and perfect and everything. He is so perfect. I really adore him. And even though we're acting like this, it's just for fun. But I really adore him. I love him so much. And I'm really thankful enough. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have some questions, please leave a comment and I will reply to you. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Dug, 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 dug